火车站很拥挤，也很脏。As we waited for our train to Doyang, 我们买了鹦鹉票，带了葡萄酒和奶酪。Situated in central China's Henan Shang, Luoyang is famous for the Longmen Shi Ku, which was our first stop on the trip. One of the finest examples of Chinese Buddhist Ishu. The grottoes date back to the late Bei Wei, reaching their peak during the Tang Dai. They feature more than 100,000 statues of Buddha and his disciples, carved into caves of the limestone Xiangshan and Longmenshan mountains. The Yihe flows between the two mountains. Unfortunately, during our visit, the river was a nice, dirty brown. Listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2000 as an outstanding manifestation of human artistic creativity, the caves draw tourists from all over the world. Work began on the grottoes in 493 when Xiao Wendi moved his capital to Luoyang. Work on the grottoes continued over four centuries with four distinct phases of construction, finishing up around 1127 during the Bei Song. War during the Jin and Yuan Dai brought grotto carving to an end. We admired the countless intricate carvings and statues. And then Rachel walked along the Bu Bu Shanglian and got her meditation on. One of the highlights is the Wan Fu Dong. Or the cave of ten thousand Buddhas, it actually features more than ten thousand small statues of Buddha and other carvings. From the bottom of this staircase, we headed up to the biggest and most famous site at the grottoes, the Feng Qian Si. At the top are nine massive figures. The most impressive of which is this Buddha statue, Da Ri Ru Lai, standing at about seventeen meters tall. An inscription dates this figure all the way back to 676. Surrounded by statues of disciples, it is believed that the big statue was carved to resemble the Empress Wu Zetian, who donated her riches to aid the construction of the statue. From the eastern hill, we admired the panorama of the western side. We then headed to the Xiangshan Temple. Which features a Zhong Lou and a Gu Lou outside. We also saw the Jiang Song Bie Shu, which featured pictures of Jiang Jie Shi and the flag of the Guomin Dang. Outside, we relaxed and enjoyed the fragrant smells of the incense. Admired some of the detailed art, and then headed on our way, continuing our three-day speed traveling journey.